Oh. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. It is Coach Tam with Coach Tam Fitness here in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I am here today interviewing uh, Ina Bowens, who mm. said yes to herself in January of 2017 and is here today to inspire those of you that are thinking about making a change in 2018 to both start and end the year strong. So, Ina, thank you for being here with me today. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Absolutely. So let's start at the beginning. Let's talk about what inspired you to actually make a change. What what motivated you to start a weight loss program? Well, what motivated me was probably the fact that, you know, I've tried yo-yo dieting for years. Um, I've, um, you know, gained weight, lost weight. Weight has always been an issue for me. Um, uh, throughout my pretty much most of my adult life um, after having children. Mm -hmm. And so um, I did all of the slim fast and all of the quick gimmicks and things like that that um, worked for a minute, but then I gained the weight back. Um, and so I wanted to try something that I've never tried before. And, you know, after going to prayer, to God in prayer, um, he asked what he is exactly what he said to me in order to get results that you've never gotten before. Sometimes you got to do something that you've never done before. Um, I was a uh, borderline diabetic. Um, I had high blood pressure. I was having problems with my knees. Um, and, you know, after many MRIs and, and everything, the doctors just kept saying, you need to lose weight, you need to lose weight. Um, and so that was another thing that motivated me um, to do it. But probably the biggest driving force was that um, in 2015, I lost both of my parents to the same health problems mm -hmm. that I uh, was experiencing. Um, and so that was an eye opener. And uh, for me, it uh, woke me up. And after going through a year of um, depression, you know, from being um having lost both parents and and being overweight um, and feeling stuck uh, where I was, I just decided that I needed to do something different. And so um, I was just scrolling through Facebook and I found your page and it just motivated me to try to do something that I've never done before. Awesome. So um, even in that process of looking for help, and there are so many options out there. Mm -hmm. So talk to us about what made you decide on this being your answer and your path? Well, again, like I said, I, um, I, I, I looked at Jenny Craig. Um, I think I even signed up for Weight, Law, um, Weight Watchers once before. But it, to me, it was all so commercial. And um, I didn't feel any personality um, from it. Um, but... And I'm not the whole boot camp in your face, yelling, all that okay. type person. No, no drill sergeant. No, no drill sergeant. <laughs> That's the reason why I didn't join the army. I didn't, gotcha. I didn't do, I don't like the whole drill sergeant thing. But after um, scrolling through Facebook and then seeing some of the um, ads and different things like that, I landed on your page and um, I read your story. And after reading your story, I felt like I could identify with you and I felt that you could identify with me and that was the one thing that I always said that if I ever did this did did this I would want somebody who could identify with me and who I can look at and see their results and where they come that they've come from where I'm trying to come from and so that was the probably the biggest thing that motivated me to, to pick you Thank you. Thank you. Well, we're glad that you did. So let's talk about the program that you joined, uh, which we call uh, Total Transformation. Uh, talk to us about how the program exceeded your expectations. Total Transformation exceeded my expectations because it never seemed to be about um, the money. It wasn't about the business transactions behind it. It was all about family. Um, from the moment I walked in, from the moment I came into that first workout class, um, it was all about family. From the moment you you contacted me um, after only me only signing up, five minutes later you sent me a text message. You know, it made me realize that this wasn't a gimmick, mm -hmm. and that this was like you were somebody that was really, you know, out there. I was a real person. <laughs> I was a real person. <laughs> and and then 
And then the fact that you took the time to interview me to see if I was going to be a good fit for the program and you allowed me to see if your program was going to be a good fit for me. Mm -hmm. That exceeded my expectations because it showed me that you cared and that you weren't just about trying to get money. You were about trying to make transformations happen mm -hmm. and make make people's lives better. And it was like an immediate connection that I had never felt with anybody before that made me, that also exceeded my expectations. Um, and all of those things conjoined together um, with just and coming in and, and, and having that fear on my face and everybody seeing it, but everybody still being so welcoming and just opening to me, open being so open to me, it just made me feel like I was a part of a family. And I'm not the easiest person to like trust people, but I, no. <laughs> but it really, I really felt like I was with a family and that I've joined and gained a family from this. And that's totally exceeded my expectations outside of the, the weight loss part of it. And outside of the, the, um, the, any other thing, the mental transformation, you know, just the fact that I've got, I've gained a family. And a support system is has really exceeded my expectations. Absolutely, we got you back. We got mm -hmm. you back. So, um, you know, there are people out there that are in process of making their own decisions. What would you say to someone that is thinking about uh, working with us but might be on the fence? I would be like Nike and say, just do it. <laughs> just jump. Don't think about it because the more you think about it, the more you can come up with fifty excuses mm -hmm. as to why mm -hmm. not to do it mm -hmm. just do it you won't regret it i mean she like i said she's exceeded every one of my expectations she cares she is always available you know there's nothing that i feel like i can't talk to coach tam about you know mm -hmm. i mean and she's always she's she she pushes you to your limits but she does it with a it's not bad, y'all. Don't be scared. It's not. It's not bad. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you feel like, oh goodness, but she pushes you with a kind push because she knows that you have more in you yeah, than what you think right. that you have in yourself. Yeah. And so, it just do it. Just do it. I promise you, you will not regret it if you just do it. All right. And for those of you out there that are thinking about it, just like Ina had the opportunity to come in and kind of test drive the experience, we still do that today. Um, we still have that initial conversation to make sure it's a good fit. We want you to really be satisfied with your decision. So, you know, let's talk a little bit about um, some of you mentioned this earlier, some of the mental shifts. What shifts in your thinking have you noticed over the last year? Um, I've noticed that I've become open more open to new things experiencing and trying new things um you know um there were times that i didn't think that i could complete certain things certain um exercises mm -hmm. um when you first approached me about doing the couch to 5k i running has Don't never you. been my thing <laughs> running was never my thing right. so when you said it to me i was like mm, i don't know about that <laughs> Right. But this has taught me to be open to new challenges. Mm -hmm. And it's also taught me to communicate and to be aware of the fact that I have to create boundaries in my life in order for people to respect me as a person. Mm -hmm. um, and because the reason why I say that is because without the communication, I was holding things in. And what I was doing was I was using food to cover up the fact that I was holding in so much and not creating, not letting, not letting people um, show that I well, not getting the respect that I needed to get from people. Mm -hmm. And so I wasn't allowing myself to verbally communicate what I needed to say. And so I was using food for that. And so this has allowed me and showed me through our um, through our Tuesday um, empowerment meetings that I can communicate and that there are effective ways for me to communicate in order for me to be able to get my point across um, and also show that 
I deserve respect, that I deserve to have self-care and that I deserve to have, that I have a self-worth about myself that other people need to see and understand as well. You, you're valuable. I'm you're valuable. valuable. All right. All right. Great. Great. So now that you are wrapping up your uh, 12 month commitment, so Ina committed to invest in herself for a 12 month period. Um, how is your life different? It's different a lot. Um, I've like, like I just said, I've gotten to the point now where, you know, I, I communicate, I say what I, I say what I feel. I say it in a nice way, but I say what I feel and you know, if you like it, you like it, you don't, you don't, but you know, I'm going to say how I feel now because I know that that's a part of mentally what I need in order to be able to be a better person. Um, um, I have gained so much physically. I'm physically, I'm stronger. Um, I can do exercises that I didn't at the beginning of the, at the beginning, back in January, I, I couldn't even do jumping jacks, but now I can complete the jumping jacks and more things. And, um, so I'm bear stronger. Crawls. Yeah. Bear crawls. <laughs> Um, a lot of things that I never thought that I would ever be able to do in life, um, I, <laughs> doing I'm doing them. And and then my endurance is picked up. You know, like I said, um, coach challenged me to do the couch to 5K. And so now I can actually run a 5K, which I never thought I'd ever do. Yeah. And now I can do it. And so I um, there are so many ways that this has just changed me for the better. Um, my family probably would have said before that I was a ticking time bomb, mm -hmm. but now I've, you know, I've just gotten to where, you know, it's okay. Things are okay. It's going, everything's going to be okay. I don't get frustrated or stressed out over things like I used to mm -hmm. anymore because I know that it's going to be okay. And if I do get stressed or frustrated about something, I just hit the gym. <laughs> let, and let and let out. that stress out in the gym. That's become my stress reliever is going to the gym and working out in the gym. Now that's a transformation, right? Yes, that's definitely <laughs> a transformation. Because I did not like working out and now I actually kind of enjoy it. Yeah, I enjoy it. Yeah. So, so physical transformation, mental, emotional transformation. What about spiritual transformation? I have become, this is probably the closest um spiritual connection that I've had with God. Um, I um, became saved as um, as a young mother in my 20s. And um, I, you know, went to church. I was heavily involved in church. I had my children involved in church. But I can say that I wasn't totally connected with God. Um, I didn't really I prayed, but you know, like they say, you pray when something's wrong. <laughs> help. So yeah, I was throwing up help signals on a regular basis. Right, right. Now I pray daily. And it's not just for prayer for help, it's just prayer for thanks, mm -hmm. you know, and just thanking God daily for just how He's transformed me. And just, I, um, and not only do I pray, I read my scriptures every morning. Um, and I do affirmations every morning um, just to affirm what God has already put into my life. Mm -hmm. And then I also, after I do prayer, um, I do meditation. I do all this before I leave the house in the morning. Wow. So it's one of the first that's things true. that I do in the morning before I even, before I step foot out the door. Mm -hmm. That's, it's a must. And it's not just because it's a routine. It's a must because it just makes my day go okay. better. And I feel like that whenever I do that, I have that connection with God and God knows that I'm looking to him for mm -hmm. to cover me yeah. and he's covering me daily. So it's not just Ina against the world. No, God, it's not just Ina against the world. I realize that God has truly got my back. Mm -hmm. Amen. So thank you, Ina, for taking the time to talk to everyone out there and inspire them I hope that you have heard something today uh, that encourages you to take that first step that you need to take towards the goals that God has placed in your heart, whether they be physical or spiritual or mental or emotional. That's what total transformation is all about, creating the change on the inside so that we can see the results that we want to see and see God's plan for us unfold on the outside. 
and not just for us, but so that we can go out and impact others because we all have an assignment. We all have a job to do while we're here on earth. So I hope that this has been a blessing to you. Ina, thank you again so much. Thank you. Today. And I do I do want to add one last thing that um, this transformation also has helped me um, because other people are seeing the transformation inside of me and they're asking questions. Hmm. And they're asking, how can I be a part of this? Or what are you doing? Or, you know, my church members are now saying, well, well, let's, can, can you can you show us some of these things that you're doing? Mm -hmm. So it's like you said, it's going out and being a help in the community, you know. So now God is allowing a light to shine within me that, you know, was maybe dimmed before. Yeah. And so I just, you know, I'm just so thankful. And it's not over. The no. best is yet to come. I can't I'm, wait to see. I'm looking forward to 2018. Yeah, absolutely. We're looking forward to it. So everyone out there, hope you have a great afternoon. God bless. Bye-bye.